Okay, I'm in the lobby of the Merlot. All right, let's do it. I'm hacking in. Look at that. Secrets and lies floating in a cloud of data. I just reach out, pluck it from the sky, and it's mine. It's ours. Stay focused. We got a nasty security system. How much we got? A hundred grand in 30 seconds. God bless the rich and famous. We are the modern day magicians. Siphoning bank accounts out of thin air. Can you hear yourself? <laughs> what was that? I don't know. I think someone else is hacking in. Let's take a peek. Let's not. Stick to the plan, Damien. Siphon the accounts and get out. Adventure, my boy. Have faith in your mentor. Something triggered that alarm. Let's find it. Shit. You're the system. I'm almost there. I'm shutting down now. Don't you touch a thing. What the hell is that? We need to abort. We are not done. Help me. Damien, it's over. I'm disconnected. Maurice. Yeah? You're on. One of our contractors ran a search for the hackers in the Merlot job. You're assigned Aiden Pierce. Take him out. Hit the family if you need to. This guy's hacking days are done. Hit the family? Not a problem? Nope. I'll scare him good. You'll never hear from him again. Who gave the order? <laughs> don't you? I don't know. You don't know. Ain't the family? Not a problem. Nope. I'll scare him good. You'll never hear from him again. What do you think, Maurice? Did you scare me? It was your job, man. I didn't know. Who was on the other end of the call? Give me a name. They never gave me a name! Yeah, I'll tell you a name. Boom. Lena. Lena Pierce. I didn't know about any kids, all right? That wasn't supposed to happen. I want you to think very carefully. Think. Look, man. Even if I knew a name, you couldn't get me talking. These guys. I heard stories, man, that are like nothing you ever seen before. You gotta walk away from this, man. Some things you can't walk please, away from. Please! Who gave the order? I spoke to them on the phone and they told me where to find you. That's all I know, man. That's all I know. Give me a name. I don't know! A name! Ah! How's your memory now? Ah.
Maurice won't talk to me, but I bet he talked to you. I can't keep running. I can't do it. I fucking hate him, Pierce. I killed his niece. He won't stop chasing me. I wish this guy. What am I gonna do? He keeps coming. I need to keep moving. Shaking, motherfucker. Shit! Where the hell you been? What? He's talking to me. I leave you for two minutes. Give me my bullets. I tossed them. But you said you'd kill them otherwise. I told you to hold on to them, Jordy. Where you been, anyway? I had to make a call. And you get what you need from Maurice? Oh, you're kidding me. Let's clean this mess up. Stop admiring your work. Hey, that's cute and all, but I'm disappointed, Pierce. I mean, you failed to spot the nasty inter-gang drama I'm creating here. I don't like loose ends. Let's get him out of here. No, too late. Bottom of the eighth. Chicago's ahead. Game's almost over. We are out of time. <laughs> huh. Nice shot. Huh. Come on, you're not just a little interested in my phone call. All right, fine. Tell me about your phone call. Glad you asked. Okay, we got a bunch of dead bodies, right? We got 40,000 people above us. We need a distraction. I called the cops. You did? Oh, yeah, true story. So, cops arrive, and Maurice's little band of brothers arrive, and pow, 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 pow. Jordy, tell me you're joking. No, no, I called them too. Look, we get a messy altercation at the end of the game. You and I slip away undetected. You'll appreciate the plan tomorrow. Great. Punctual cops. I handle these guys. You grab Maurice, get him out of here. Maurice? What do I look like, a chauffeur? He's the shooter. I'm not through with him yet. Hey. Ugh. Dick. Chicago police! If there's anybody in here, identify yourselves. I got another corpse, another viceroy. <laughs> Victimless crime, man. Why'd they have to pick the biggest game of the season for all this shit? You trying to ruin it for everybody? Squad, we've got two bodies in the basement of May. Roger the polls now by Jorge Sanova, who ended with an outstanding 15 7 record last season. We're watching an epic confrontation between two old rivals here today, and this game couldn't be any closer. Big base dealers on this team with 27 steals this series. Looks like it unlocks from the other like side. That's a pitch and a hit, and it looks like... Yeah, that's a foul ball. Rogers not falling for that one. Both men, of course, experts at the mind game. Two on, two out, folks. Something's gonna give soon, and it could go either way. Sonoma pitches, that's a big hit! See anything? Nope. Quiet here. You've got a known vice boy in the VIP lounge. He's not moving unless I give him a reason.
Hey, you, sir. This is yeah, you, bullshit, come here. man. You ain't got no probable cause. We're just talking. Hey, man, look, I got my tickets right nope. here. No, yeah. keep your hands where I can hey, see them. Hey, this is bullshit, Jake. You do nothing wrong. Get back now. You're vice wars, aren't you? That ain't illegal, right? Don't get smart. How did you two afford VIP tickets? Mm, bet she makes more than you do. Yeah? Hey, yo, what? Didi, calm down, all right? Bad boy. Police are about to lock this whole place down. I'm stuck unless we create a major distraction. I want to cut the power and slip past them. Do we all stay here? I thought you wanted to keep the vigilante out of the news. Everything's connected to the CTOS with a serious firewall. Right now, I need to get out of the stadium. Can you find me the nearest access point? In the next room. Well, you'll need to find someone with security clearance. Security guard should have access. With all these cops, there's gotta be one around. Hey, you Alan? Yeah, I am. You got an evacuation plan, right? Of course we do. Good, we need to get moving on it. We're not gonna evacuate 40,000 people so we can play cowboys and Indians. But you got an isolated incident in the basement, we can close the basement. I got no problem with that. Where are you, Jordy? What? Gone? I'm allergic to cops, so is Maurice. But don't worry, I left you a present. Friend of a friend deals in pre-owned cars. Got a real beauty waiting for you in the garage across the street. Take it or leave it, and I don't care. I just saw a bunch of cops fly by out there. That's a lot of sirens for a blackout. Shit, something ain't right. We should stay. We're gonna circle back and see if we can pick them up. Trigger man. Just need to break through. How? Push Maurice hard. We're just not gonna work on this guy, so I need to get inside his head. The guilt is eating him up. I'll give him a couple of days. I bet I'll start reaching out.
Stories, man, that like nothing I've ever seen before. You better walk away from this, man. Why are you sitting here? He's coming, right? Not like last time. Jackson, I did invite him. It's been so long. Are you sure you called the right number? Honey, your uncle's a different kind of person. It doesn't mean he doesn't love us. Finding Maurice was correct. We've gained access to the CTUS back door while the police were being distracted by you. Since we both win in this, we'll share what we have. That back door allows you some access to the CTUS network. I'm still working on something bigger. Give me time. Sick of remembering her that way. It's never a dream of her tiny face pressing the window when she knows I was coming over. Or that little wobbly dance she did. It's always the same nightmare. 